welcome back students. So, we start with solving some questions that are related to hydraulic jumps or rapidly varied flow. So, this entire uh, lecture will be dedicated to solving some of the basics and a little more complex problems, those type of problems which you encounter in exams like gate or IES. So, we start with the one problem as below, it says that water on the horizontal apron of 30 meter wide spillway, okay. so it is 100 feet or uh, sorry that is 30 meter has a depth of 0 point. So, point 0 0.06 feet is equivalent to 0 0.20 meter and a velocity of 18 feet per second that means 5.5 meters per second. The question is determine the depth after the jump, the fraud numbers before and after the jump. So, this is simple application of the formula that we have. So, if you see in this figure, so the water is coming and it is undergoing hydraulic jump. Okay. And we have to calculate y 2 the depth after the jump. So, that is y 2 f r 1 and after the jump f r 2 simple. right? So, we know the conditions here at number 1. So, it is pretty simple to calculate fraud number 1. We will go step by step the way you should be solving 2. So, so the in this question the condition across the jump are determined by the upstream fraud number f r 1 that also we have to find out actually all right. So, f r 1 is given by v 1 divided by under root g y 1 v 1 was given 5.5 y 1 was given 0 0.2 you see 18 feet per second means 5.5 meters per second and this is 30 meter. So, the fraud number 1 comes out to be 3.92 and this is greater than 1 which means hydraulic jump will occur. Okay? As I said that the upstream flow is super critical and therefore, it is possible to generate hydraulic jump first step. So, in the second step we obtain depth ratio we had the formula which said y 2 by y 1 is equal to half into multiplied by minus 1 plus 1 plus 8 f r 1 square. f r 1 whole square which already we found out in the previous slide was 3.92 plug these values here. So, what comes out is y 2 by y 1 is 5.07 all right. Therefore, y 2 is going to be 5.07 into 0.2 and that is 1.01 meter. So, this is going to be 1.01 meter all right. Now, we the way we obtain v 2 is by equating the flow rate. So, a 1 v 1 is equal to a 2 v 2 b gets cancelled out. So, v 2 will be v 1 y 1 divided by y 2 y 1 was known from before v 1 was from known from before y 2 we just calculated using that y 2 by y 1 equation of hydraulic jump. So, v 2 comes out to be 1.08 meters per second all right. So, therefore, for fraud number at location 2 will be v 2 by under root g y 2. v 2 we calculated here this was the reason we were calculating v 2 for calculating the fraud number and this we calculated in the last last slide. So, fraud number 2 comes out to be 0 0.343. So, this means subcritical flow. 
so when the system goes hydraulic when undergoes hydraulic jump the supercritical flow turns from supercritical uh, turns into uh, the supercritical flow turns into a subcritical flow so fraud number is more than 1 and after undergoing the hydraulic jump the fraud number becomes sub, i mean fraud number becomes less than 1 so the flow becomes subcritical so as it is written here it is a subcritical flow all right now we have to also obtain the head loss that the energy loss we simply use this equation total energy at section 1 minus total energy minus section 2 y 1 we have we know from before v 1 we know from before y 2 we have calculated v 2 we have calculated all right and after substituting in the values you see the head loss that the energy loss in terms of head is 0 0.671 meter this is the most simplest and the most common type of problems in hydraulic jump which are the type of questions you you also will be ex expecting in your uh, assignments and exams and competitive exams especially now we go to another question and say that prove that the energy loss in a hydraulic jump occurring in a rectangular channel is so we would try to obtain head loss directly in terms of y2 and y1 if we know the two depths because sometimes in exams in the objective type uh, you know exams like es and gate they simply give you y2 and y1 and ask you to calculate head loss so basically what you must do is please learn remember this equation in this particular question we are trying to derive this but you must remember this we will derive this but in uh, objective type of exam it's very difficult to derive in i mean all the time so basically remember this equation all right <coughs> so the loss of the mechanical energy that takes place in a hydraulic jump is calculated by the application of energy equation bernoulli's equation if loss of total head in the pump is h l then we can write by Bernoulli's equation neglecting the slope of the channel as y 1 plus v 1 square by 2 g is equal to y 2 plus v 2 square by 2 g plus head loss this is what we generally write all right. So, head loss can be written as y 1 minus y 2 plus v 1 square by 2 g minus v 2 square by 2 g ok. So, this remains same. So, instead of v 1 and v 2 we write in terms of a common quantity. So, q can be written as v 1 by y 1 is equal to v 2 by y 2 all right. So, we write yeah. So, v 1 So, we take out sorry uh, very 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 sorry this equation it is all yeah. So, this is the same all right so v1 is q by y1 <laughs> okay i just wrote the opposite q by y2 all right so this we substitute here and this we substitute here and therefore this q square we take out common and this is 1 by y1 square minus 1 by y2 square all right because q is equal to v1 y1 is equal to v2 y2 all right so, from equation number 21 c or we do not need to remember v 1 is actually q by 
Yeah. So you remember equation we are putting v 1 is equal to q by y 1 fraud number 1 is v 1 by under root g y 1. So, this one you see you go back to the equation 21 c it is important to show you. So, this one this is the equation 21 c. So, y 2 by y 1 plus y whole square plus y 2 by y 1 is minus 2 fraud number 1 whole square is equal to 0 alright. So, we can use this y 2 by y 1 here. All right. So, we can simply write y 1 y 2 whole square plus y 1 square y 2 by 4 is equal to q square by 2 g. All right. So, this equation becomes, so this q square by 2 g is equal to this and we put it here. Okay. So, we get h l is equal to y 1 minus y 2 plus y 1 into y 2 square plus y 1 square y 2 by 4 and multiplied by which will finally, give if you solve this, this is going to give you h l is equal to y 2 minus y 1 whole cube divided by 4 y 1 y 2 and important equation. I think you can there are other ways of doing that as well, but I think if you should try this one at home solving this one. Okay. So, we go to uh, uh, another basic question which says if in a hydraulic jump, if in a hydraulic jump occurring in a rectangular channel the fraud number before the jump is 10. So, f r 1 is 10 and energy loss is 3.20 meter. What is the, the sequent depth? So, we are talking about y 2 and y 1 and then it asks about the discharge intensity and the fraud number H L or E L whatever you want to call it. Okay. So, to solve this we will take the help of white screen. So, the things that are given to us is fraud number or F 1 let us say is 10.0 and energy loss or head loss is 3.20 meter. All right. So, from the formula you remember we had found y 2 by y 1 is equal to half of minus 1 plus under root 1 plus 8 f r 1 whole square. So, if you substitute minus 1 plus under root 1 plus 8 is into 10 whole 10 square and it will give us 13.651 and energy loss using previous question that I asked you to remember E L is written as y 2 minus y 1 whole cube divided by 4 y 1 y 2. All right. So, if we say E L by y 1 is y 2 by y 1 minus 1 whole cube divided by 4 y 2 by y 1. Okay. 
So, E L we know is 3.20 divided by y 1 will be 13.651 minus 1 whole cube divided by 4 into 13.651 and on solving this y 1 is going to be 3.20 divided by 37.08 implies y 1 is going to be 0 0.0863 meter all right. So, 0 0.0863 meter. Now, y 2 by y 1 we already know we have found out y 1. So, y 2 by y 1 came out to be 13.651 implies y 2 is going to be 1.178 meter. So, the water level is increasing all right. All right. So, we have found out y 2 and y 1. So, we also need to find out fraud number 1 that is v 1 by under root g y 1. Okay. So, fraud number 1 we already know 10 is equal to v 1 under root 9.8 into 0 0.0863 implies v 1 is going to be 9.20 meters per second. All right. Small q is going to be v 1 y 1. So, 9.20 into 0 0.0863 is 0 0.7941 meter cube per second per meter and F r 2 is pretty simple V 2 by under root G y 2 and V 2 can be written in terms of Q by y 2 under root g y 2. Okay. So, q we have already found out 0 0.7941 uh, right and y 2 is y 2 we found out was uh, 1.178 under root 9.8 into 1.178. So, fraud number 2 is 0 0.1983 subcritical flow after the jump has occurred. Okay. So, this is a very simple problem we using the formulas. So, you see how this formula of energy loss is equal to <coughs> y 2 minus y 1 whole cube divided by 4 by 1 y 2 is important. Okay. So, so, there is a solution as always here you know I have gotten it typed down. So, sequent depth ratio. So, energy loss using this one. So, so after the jump fraud number is 9.2 discharge intensity fraud number after the jump all right same as we did in the whiteboard all right. So, another question it says a rectangular channel has a width of 1.8 meters and carries a discharge of 1.8 at a depth of 0 0.2 meters. Calculate specific energy depth alternate to the existing depth and fraud number at alternate depths. All right. So, in the beginning we do not know what type of question this is, this is hydraulic jump or not hydraulic jump, but this is a very it's this this is a standard problem of uh, 
um, open channel flow. So, we should start by you know uh, writing down what are the things that we know from before. You know. So, to solve this Okay. <clears throat> so, what we know we write it down V 1 is equal to 0 0.20 meter and that is the existing depth all right area is A 1 is B Y 1 all right B is already given width of 8 1.8 meter. So, it is 1.8 into 0 0.2 that is 0 0.36 meter square. So, velocity v 1 is simply q by a 1 q is given 1.80 and area we know is a k calculated 0 0.36 and this gives us to be 5 meters per second. So, the first part is specific energy. E 1 is equal to y 1 plus v 1 square by 2 g. So, y 1 we already know plus v 1 v we have already calculated 2 into 9.81 all right. So, this comes out to be 1.47 meter. So, specific energy at 1 all right. So, we have to calculate y 2. So, let us say y 2 is depth alternate to y 1 in specific energy diagram. I would like to remind you when we were dealing with specific energy, we found out a cubic equation for a particular q there were existing three values right of y. One was negative which is generally neglected and the remaining one y 1 and y 2 are called alternate depths. In this question one is already given to us and we are asked about the other one. So, the best way of solving this is through specific energy. Okay? So, we have calculated specific energy at one point and now we are going to equate the specific energy at the other point. So, we write E 1 is equal to E 2 and E 1 is. So, E 2 E 2 is y 2 that we do not know plus v 2 square by 2 g is equal to 1.4742 because that is E 1 which we have already calculated okay. 1.47 actually you just write it down it is better not going into too much. Okay. So, y 2 and v 2 is what? v 2 is similar to you know q by a 2 all right. So, q is 1 point q v 2 square is q a q square divided by a a 2 square all right. So, we will still write 2.981 into that is 2 g and then it is 1.8 because all the depth is all I mean b 1 into y 1. Okay. So, this is a square a 2 square okay. is equal to 1.47 all right. So, if you solve for this y 2 will come out to be 1.45 meter. You can use by trial and error or you can you know it is not that big a problem. Okay. So, y 2 comes out to be 1.45 meter all right. So, now we know we y 1 we know we, we knew y 1 now we have y 2. So, Proud number at first location is going to be V under root 9.81 into 0 0.2 that is 
3.57 okay and for this y2 we need to find out first velocity right so v2 is going out to be q by b y2 so q is 1.8 b is 1.8 and y2 is 1.45. So, this comes out to be 0 0.69 meters per second. All right. Therefore, f2 is v2 by under root g y2 and this comes out to be 0 0.69 into 9.81 into 1.45 this equals 0 0.1829. So, F 2 comes out to be 0.1829. So, we have found using the concept of a specific energy everything that was required all right. So, F 1, F 2 you know. So, we will close this here now and go to the solutions that which we have solved actually. So, so the velocity using the specific energy concepts, the same solution, okay, crowd number. So, this will be of help to you when you revise the course. So, now we are going to solve one last problem of this module, and after that, we will end this, uh, you know. Uh, lecture. So, instead of going to the whiteboard, I will take you through the slides itself and uh, so, okay. So, so the question is in hydraulic jump occurring in a rectangular horizontal channel, the discharge per unit width is 2.5 meter cube per second per meter, okay. So, we have been given, I will explain here only, the discharge per unit width, small q we have been given, all right. And we say that y1 we already know. Now, it is asking estimate the sequent depth and the energy loss, all right. So, the way it is to be done is you see, we know small q depth we already know. So, so this is the phenomenon y1, v1, v2, y2. So, q is 2.5 meters cube, cube per meters per second y 1 is 0 0.25 meters already given. So, small v 1 I mean v 1 is q by y 1 which comes to be 10 meters per second and if we know v 1 we can calculate the initial fraud number that comes to be 6.386. This means we definitely have will have a dihydraulic jump because we I mean we will have a hydraulic jump we might okay, because fraud number is greater than 1. All right, So, we know fraud number at location 1 now, we know y 1. So, we will be easily able to find out y 2 by y 1 since we know fraud number at location 1 by the formula y 2 by y 1 is equal to half minus 1 plus under root 1 plus 8 f 1 square. This we have derived, you remember and putting in the values you see fraud number came out to be 6.836, other things wide 1 we already was where we were given that it is 0.25 meter. So, y 2 will come out to be 2.136 meter which is called the sequent depth. All right. And now the last part of this is we have to find out the energy loss E L and the energy loss E L is given by the formula y 2 minus y 1. So, we know y 2, we know y 1. So, we can ease, we are easily able to find out energy loss just in terms of y 2 and y 1. So, 2.136 minus 0 0.250 whole cube divided by 4 y 1 into y 2 and the energy loss comes out to be 3.141 meter. All right. So, this is the final question of this topic. And with this, we finish the module called as open channel flow that went on for two weeks. 
So, in the next week we are going to deal with the pipe flow, mm, we are going to go and see the viscous fluid flow, we will see concepts about computational fluid dynamics and we will close down with the wave mechanics which is a typical example of in, in, in viscid flows. So, thank you so much and I will see you next week, bye.